I would not have been able to come off the uh, prescription medication I was on without the use of cannabis because the pain was so severe that I wanted to die. The pain of coming off the prescription medication was so severe that I wanted to die. I couldn't be a soldier anymore. I had to get out. Um, I just, I was burned out. Too, too much deployment, too short amount of time. And the Army teaches you not really to talk about your emotions. Um, they don't want you they want you to be numb enough to do things that normal people can't do. There was no help, so I started dealing with um, symptoms of, of PTSD, and insomnia was the biggest problem that I had. Uh, in 2006, I went to a psychiatrist while I was deployed and told him I couldn't sleep, um, and he gave me prescription sleep medication. The meds worked, but they were only supposed to be a short-term fix, and I ended up continuing use of Ambien until 2014. So I started taking the, the SSRIs and the antidepressants, tried three or four different prescriptions of those drugs, and that combined with alcohol, and uh, I was ready to die. The pain was too much, the emotional pain was, it just wasn't worth continuing. And a friend of mine took me to the hospital and was like, you need help. So I went to the hospital to get help and while I was there, I realized that the system was what was making me sick. The system said I had post-traumatic stress disorder. The system said I needed these drugs to treat that disorder. Cannabis allows you to still feel those emotions and still feel that pain, but it reduces it to a, to a, to a point where it's tolerable. For the VA to even prescribe a pill for depression or anxiety or insomnia that could kill you should be illegal. That should be illegal, not a plant. I'm so glad that I'm I, I beat it. I, I, I beat the pharmaceutical system. I beat the, the doctor's system. And treating myself with a natural plant material saved my life. If anything, it, it's cannabis is a pain reliever and a anti-drug because in, instead of making me an addict, it has relieved the addictive symptoms that I did have. Like, I was an alcoholic and I don't drink anymore. So, for somebody to say that it's a gateway drug, it's the opposite. It's, it's medicine, not a drug. Um, the mission of Grow for Vets is to get more people, to, or more veterans, to, to realize that they don't have to fall into that VA prescription pill bottle there's an alternative. There are side effects of cannabis. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than the side effects of other drugs. If you take full plant extract and your body is not used to that concentration or that dosage, you can have very odd um, experience. It's like it's almost like a roller coaster. Different types, different uh, cultivars, different strains do different things to different people.